All of my moves count. I'll file your taxes for you with 100% accuracy guaranteed. Now that's a big deal. Intuit TurboTax, proud partner of March Madness. When you put on that uniform, there's a sense of pride. You're not just wearing your last name. You're representing everything that got you here. Your family. Where you're from. Wearing that uniform makes a statement that you belong to something bigger. There we go. I think I finally got it. Took about an hour. Need to be at your best? You need an antiperspirant that goes beyond. Dove men with 72 hey guys, this is going to be audio stream. Enjoy. So I'll be back. Your underarms and focus on being unforgettable. Dove men, forgettable underarms, unforgettable you. The three for me only at Chili's serves up more deliciousness for just $10.99 than you'll find anywhere else. I mean, have y'all seen those fast food prices lately? It's like even they want you to come to Chili's. This Chili's three for me is the best $10.99 you can eat. Everybody get their banking done? Let's go, drive, we gotta go. Someone's in a hurry. And one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Can we go? Yeah, faster. Oh, no siree. You see, I get discounts for my safe driving with Snapshot from Progressive. You should see my savings, they're nuts. You told us he was a skilled wheelman. No, I'm a wheelman. It's family name on my mother's side. Irish. Power eight, it takes more, and we're looking at Carolina dominating in the paint. 20 paint points already. Baycott couldn't get the dunk, does get the finish in the foul. A moment ago, Allie with Donald Copeland. Well, Coach, you hang your hat on defense. They're shooting close to 70%. There's discrepancy in the points in the paint. What do you want to see cleaned up on the defensive end? Yeah, we got to we got to make it harder to get into the paint. Uh, game plan was to force them to be shooters right now. They definitely came with a, a point to get it inside. We're doing a hell of a hell, uh, bad job really protecting the paint. So thank you, coach. I appreciate it. All business. Donald Copeland, the son of a coach. He replaced Bashir Mason, who has brought his St. Peter's team here to Charlotte. They'll be playing later today against Tennessee. Those two very close, very good friends. Quite the coaching tree at Wagner. Dan Hurley. Bob Hurley was his assistant. Bashir Mason, now Donald Copeland. Todd Wagner with their first NCAA tournament victory. Down by 10. Here is Council. In and out it goes. He's had a couple of those. Another yep. rebound for Baycott. You know, it's funny. We, we were talking about it. There's a lot of connectivity in this region. You see a turnover that time by Cadeau with Bashir, Mason, but also Copeland, but then the Zeigler brothers. Here with yeah, Zakai and Armani. Yep, here. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like a lot of cool. things in this region. Well, Paxson Wojcik is on the floor now. Dad Doug, an assistant at Michigan State. Right. Was on that <laughs> UNC staff early 2000s. Early minutes here for Paxson Wojcik. The basketball world seems large, but it's very small. Wasn't too long ago your son was playing in the NCAA tournament. That's when I was a young Jim. <laughs> That's when I was called Jimmy Jackson. That was just Jim. Mr. Jackson. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Jackson. Second chance here for Wagner as Council looking for help. Great Yo, guys, what's up? 31-21 there, North Carolina. Six now minutes Allen left to go in the first it. half. Allen, strong with the left hand. Nice play right you know, you there don't want to get late by the Wagner. Against this Carolina defense because that's from the size really looms over you, but excellent job that time to finish. But once again, that time, Cormac Ryan able to get his body downhill. And once again, attention to detail by North Carolina. We're not going to bail you out by shooting jump shots. We're going to put our head down, use our size, and force you to have to stop us once we get these big bodies in the paint. Teron Allen with Ryan on and drops his shoulder. Offensive foul. Offensive foul. Turnover. It's going Ryan back to the deck. Tar Heels. Allen commits the foul. And now Donald Copeland bringing a big man back on the floor. Well, Ryan knew it was coming on the second. Nice play there by Ryan stepping in, taking one. that hit. Now, he embellished that a little bit more than what it was. But that's just a head up, heads-up play by absorbing the first one. 
not giving ground knowing the second one will follow you bait your opponent into it and then you use your acting skills a little bit to take advantage of it allen's got three fouls now three players for wagner of their seven that have three fouls already by the way wagner's first turnover today Carolina trying to turn it into points here. Come on, Carolina. Ten. Look who's back in the game in his own defense with three fouls. Keontae Lewis, Lewis. enters. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Rest it. Offensive Coach rebound. Inside, offensive rebound. Ingram looking for help. Wojcik around the horn it goes. Rig. Nope. This is another three. Flying high for another offensive another rebound. Offense. Group dance. Well, and they make good ball control mode here offensive rebound stacking up rebound discrepancy Double the stack. Let's go a big difference. Five five. Offensive boards, And now Ascara finally secures it three shots at it. Carolina can't score. Here's council on the run and oh, foul, foul against the Tar Heels back to the light he goes well, Good Clyde. Council How you doing? Jr. Not afraid Rolling with his Monroe College teammate here and Tajay Kelton what a ride it's been for the junior from Rochester. It was frustrating trying to get this one up. Two free throws for Council. Three out of four from the line already. He's already taken 11 shots as well. This is for the second time. Don't forget to watch whip around coverage of all men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming. Arizona device. up right now against Long Beach State, 55 to 37. AT and T 5G to the March Madness live app. So I hear you, Clyde. Out. I hear you. But you know what he's saying? If Wagner can get a stop, they Same can here, run brother. on North Carolina. Sure. Between Escara and also... Free throw good. Wagner. You know, Council Jr. getting out. Knocking it down. They can find some ways. Nine-point ball game here in North part. Carolina up. We say the number one seed, Tar Heels, on taking on the 16 seed, Wagner Seahawks. North Carolina, but that doesn't guarantee the rebound. You got to root them out and do whatever you can to secure it and get out and run. That's where you may have your advantage. And here you got another chance right here. Uh, Ingram found the get crowd the built up in here. Score it though. Escara, the point guard from Puerto Rico. He gets it right back. Escara. Now he's got Bacon on him. Dumps it down inside. Keontae Lewis guarded by Ingram. Big bodies going at it. There you go. From nice the play. Keontae Lewis. Nice there, another one. Did you see him peek inside? Criminal lead Bob, down to Bob seven. Look at the middle of the lane, knowing he had enough room on the baseline to spin and use the glass. So right back out of the zone. Ingram in that spot once again. Missed it again. Baycott can't follow it. Baycott gets a second offensive Put rebound. Good. Puts it in this time. That's at a big yell, too. Baycott Feeling himself after that one. Rebounding totals in this first half already. Got a double-double, 10 points. 11 boards, three offensive rebounds. Yeah, We're in the screen, jump in the chat, say what's up. This afternoon for him. I mean, maybe he, on both sides. Yeah, he's going to be able to dominate that off target. target. Seahawks can't hit it, saved by Carolina. Here Carolina they come up the left nine. side. Three minutes remaining in, in the corner, half. back outside. Foul on. Oh, nice pass and a foul Goes on the dunk attempt. Couldn't finish the dunk. Took Free throws in the incoming here coming. for the Tar Heels. Big fella doing his work inside. And not once, the second time. Try again, put it inside. It's a commercial be a big, break. Big, big afternoon on those boards for Big Hot. 35 26, North Carolina. We are trying really hard to get you Reese's peanut butter cups, but there is only so much we can do here. You're going to have to meet us Let's halfway. See, if we get some people in here in the next few minutes, we'll keep the stream open. Well, if not, way, I'm just going to set up for the Denver one later on. Everyone's hyped that Wendy's made the official hamburger of March Madness a buck. Yeah! But Tyler told we me had some people in here early, uh, but I had to close that stream because it wasn't working properly. Get hyped with fresh, never frozen beef on Wendy's. Figured out the issue, but only in the app. It's a little late. He stops for the championship. Nice shot, Marcus. Sweet. Turn simulation off. Tisk tisk. Not so fast. Commercial break, everybody. Let's go. Why? Did you forget, Marcus? Forget what? Your chem exam? Ah. Uh, Flashcard time. The atomic weight of boron? The future isn't scary. Not investing in it Who's is. It? 100 innovative okay, companies. Guys, it's going to be uh, an audio only stream here for the next little bit. See you guys later on for Nixon Nuggets. Bob, I think this could be very special. Today, everyone is raving. Bob Mar
Nissan, official partner of March Madness. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back in Charlotte, top-seeded Tar Heels. They lead at 35-26. Wagner coming out of the first four. Coming out of the Northeast Conference. Tournament champions in that conference. Armando Baycott is UNC's record holder for double-doubles and rebounds. And he's already got a double-double here today. 12 points, 11 rebounds. Trying to chase down one of the all-time ACC greats, Tim Duncan. What? I thought, Tim, I thought he went to Hawaii. <laughs> he is from the islands, but I the know. other islands. <laughs> right. And Baycott knocks the first one in. We send it over to Ali LaForce. What do you have, Ali? Well, Brian and Jim, for as dominant as he has been, he comes into this tournament with great humility. He told me, quote, going into this tournament is all we ever wanted, to have a chance to be a number one seed in the tournament. We know it comes with a level of responsibility. He said last season we had a letdown. This year there's a, an added sense of concentration. And this year we don't take it for granted, and we're ready for it. King of the NIL, Armando 167th game he is playing here today for Carolina. But, but didn't that sound like, one, a mature player? Yeah. But a player that understands this is his last goal, right? I love it. And you know, he's so thankful to be a Carolina Tar Heel. I mean, he loves them. They love him. It's been a, a beautiful marriage all these years. It, 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 it has been, but, you know, the, the realization that it's coming to an end, forces you to think and act a lot differently which it's a great thing to have and that's why he's played outstanding basketball this entire year the step through by council gets his own another chance here for wagner see if wagner can get on a little burst here they have their big man back on the floor keontae lewis playing with the three fouls three different seahawks with three fouls right now on a seven-man roster hot pass Kelton in traffic comes up short and that'll be Carolina ball but, but right there the ball was stagnant he was on one side of the court because it, it figured out either it was like and Wagner subscribe everybody let's go with Baycott Gardner or did they have one inside as well but not being able to take advantage of it play right in the hands of North Carolina and again you bled under five seconds of the shot clock hits an empty possession Top 10 defensive team is Wagner in the country as Ryan rips the cords, a three-pointer. 25-year-old, the New York native, started at Stanford, four years at Notre Dame, transferred in for one last go round in the ACC with Carolina. Big lead, biggest lead for the Tar Heels here at 14. Mascara cannot shake Davis, gives it up. And here is Julian Brown, no, Ingram with a rebound. Carolina on a push here, late in this first half. The lefty, Wojcik, and Lewis clears it away. Donald Copeland says, ball control it here. Let's get to the halftime locker room. He's had to navigate with some foul trouble. They've got a great line for their team. As we get a foul here by Davis, you know, the seven players, the two bench players, they, they call them seven jerseys and six uh -huh. polos because <laughs> that's what their bench looks like most of their players in polos or street clothes and losing key players like Ramir Moore maybe their best player Zaire Williams Rob Taylor all players with significant injuries that does not have them available here for the NCAA tournament well keep in mind to our fans that haven't seen Wagner play it didn't just happen in the tournament. They've been playing two months, about two months yeah. like this with Good seven point. players. Great point. Four to shoot. Council, no. Withers was on him. Offensive board. Kelton can't get it to go. And finally, Jalen Withers. And that's a turnover. And how many turnovers have we seen from North Carolina with their outlet passes? Good point. Five turnovers overall. Wagner wants a a chance to talk it over with the ball in their hands down 14. AT&T just sent me a heads up on the
Julian Brown to get there. Keep in mind, Donald Copeland in high school played for Bob Hurley Sr. St. Anthony. So the, the attention to detail, the little things, the discipline, and you take that he had a disciplinary as a father. Yes. You know that's translating to his coaching staff. Jersey through and through. Ali told you his players know he's the worst thing they have to face every day, and he was on their case in that last time out. Here is Brown. No look. Lewis, nice little push shot by Keontae Lewis. But once again, out of a timeout, a beautiful drawn-up play. The execution was there because he understands Copeland's a timeout by North Carolina. Their margin of error is very small. We'll take a break with the Tar Heels. They'll have a last shot if they want it when we come back. The Cantina Chicken. next one kale celery swirl yeah cash or charge charge sorry game time Thank you. 
AT&T at the half. Connect to the madness. Connecting changes everything. I would say Armando Baycott came to work today, ready to go. Double-double in the first half of this one. And the North Carolina Tar Heels, number one seed, uh, playing in Charlotte and uh, leading 40-28 to 28 over the Seahawks of Wagner. Welcome to AT&T at the half. Ernie Johnson here in our New York studio with Clark Kellogg, Kenny the Jet Smith, uh, of course, noted Tar Heel, and Charles Barkley. What did you think, Jet, of your uh, alma mater? Oh, I mean, it's still a slow start. I think, um, you know, I don't, the enthusiasm is probably the only thing that I haven't seen, uh, but the execution has been there. Uh, Armando's been able to carve space down. When the Tar Heels uh, shoot threes, then it really opens up the space. But they made a conservative effort to say, you guys are too small. So we're going to drop it down to Baycott. We're going to drop it down to Harrison and Ingram. We're going to make sure that you, you play interior defense, and then we'll work our way back out. Mm -hmm. First half uh, belonging to the Tar Heels. A couple of highlights from the uh, first 20 minutes to show you. R.J. Davis, of course, when you think about this team, first guy that comes to mind. Well, Baycott also, but R.J. knocks down the long range. Play of the year, baby. Yeah, he's had a terrific senior season, All-America, but that's the guy who's been making it happen. Points in the paint. That's a nice follow-up shot, Jalen Withers. And 24-12 um, points in the paint as you would expect with the advantage that North Carolina has over the much smaller Wagner team. So it'll be um, kind of yeoman, yeoman's work yes. methodically done. Yes. It's a, a hallmark of all those North Carolina teams, the ability to get on the boards and dominate uh, that statistic. 25 rebounds in the first half, 25-14 the advantage. Chuck, what'd you think? Well, I think, number one, I said before the game, Big Carp was going to be huge. He's just too big, too strong for those little guys down in, in the paint, and that was the difference. But what that's got to open up, Ernie, is that dreaded three-point shooting. As a coach, you have to make a decision. They were letting Baycott go one-on-one. -on -one. If you look at all these plays, he's one-on-one. -on -one. They're not... He's just, uh -huh. he's just, oh. Get that one. Get it back. Just too big, too strong. And so I get a coach credit saying, like, hey, you know what? We can't give up threes. But now the size advantage took over. Now he's going to have to make the adjustment. And if he make the adjustment that we're going to stop Baycott, then those, they're going to start raining threes on him. Uh... Wagner coming in, season-high four-game winning streak. Uh, they've been coming in shorthanded. They've been coming in with all kind of injuries. Uh, and then you kind of step up a weight class here today against the Tar Heels, Clark. No question about it. I mean, and that's typically what you anticipate when you see a 116 play. I know we've had two 16s win in the last five years, but typically this is what you're going to see, a team that's a little overmatched, well, significantly overmatched, and the Tar Heels in full control here. Yeah, it's a 12-point game at the break. Winner of this game knows who they're going to get in the first in the next round, and that's because the first game of the day was Michigan State and Mississippi State, and Sparty oh! rising to the occasion. Man, was that Jay Nakins? Yes, it was. Tell me how you show me how you feel, young fella. Boy, he was really good. Threes. He said, I'm not shooting all them threes today, Clark. But I he's not had the kind of year was and that was anticipated for him, Kenny. But if he's gonna step it up, this is the time to do it. Tyson Walker had 19. <coughs> Aiken supported with 15. Malik Hall had 10. And Sparty did a great job defensively. Um, turned it over a little more than they want to, but still the execution offensively when they didn't turn it over was when really good. See, when you see Tom Izzo on the other sideline, you know, like, uh-oh, <laughs> we cannot mess around next game. So I'm looking forward to that one. Because Izzo, man, he's just great, period. And yeah. when they are the lower seed, Michigan State uh, always dangerous. 17th win for Tom Izzo as a lower seed as they win over Mississippi State. We'll get you caught up on all the action from the first day of the madness when AT&T at the half continues after this. Is this what you want? These crunchy ridges? Yes, coach! If you want to secure the bag, then step it up. Does he know there's more ruffles in the pantry? <laughs> you want these chips? Keep practicing. This week only at Domino's, get unlimited mini-priced pizzas for 50% off when you order online. Choose any size pizza you want, any crust you want, and any toppings you want. Oh, and any number of pizzas you want, too. Get 50% off your perfect pizza, or pizzas, this week only at Domino's. If you have wet AMD, you never want to lose sight of the thing.
job, but we love it. And But you have to have friendships. I'm fortunate to have him in my life. You're going to be ecstatic if you win, but you're also going to feel bad for who loses. We're just going to enjoy it until the ball goes up, and then he's going to do everything he can to knock us out, and we're going to do the same. See, that adds perspective to when you hear the pregame comments that Greg Campy had talking about drawing Kentucky. He said that's the best matchup we could get. You know, he's talking about the spotlight. He's talking about prime time, you know, giving a chance for his players in on that stage. Somebody might think, oh, well, if you're Kentucky and you hear, well, this is the best matchup we want. But you got to understand how tight these guys that's are. Right. So that's there right. was no disrespect. In None at all. It's about relationship, yeah. a history of relationship, quality relationship, and a shared profession. So you understand exactly what it feels like when you're going against a friend who's in the same profession that and, you are. And not only that, I, I just remember even back when I was recruited, like they will send you pictures of them playing. You, uh, schools would send you pictures of them playing Duke, North Carolina, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. They're not going to send you pictures of brand teams, names. No, no. Right. Brand right. names. They're like, this is who we play if you come here. Yeah. So this is another, that's what he's saying, a spotlight and opportunity. And if you win, then the spotlight goes bigger. <laughs> ask C St. Peter's and ask our guy now at Seton Hall how it changes your life over, over a couple of weekends. But also, this is about Kentucky. At some point, they got to make a deep run. They can't keep getting upset. I mean, they're the University of Kentucky. They're one of the greatest programs in history. And Cal is a terrific coach and a good friend. But at some point, he can't keep living off what happened during the Anthony Davis era. He got to go deep in this tournament at some point. And this might be the year. That is the 14-3 uh, and three matchup later right here on CBS. Meantime, 14 seed, Moorhead State, taking on the fighting Illini of Illinois, number three seed. And um, hmm, Khalil, okay. Take a Eight. look at the start for Moorhead State. Yeah, it was late in knocking down that three. He's a 44% three-point shooter, and it was nine zip. If it was a ping pong match, it would have been over, Kenny. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and we didn't play ping pong. We're not playing ping pong. <laughs> but the Illini fighting back, getting back in the mix. Plenty of time left in that first half. So uh, Moorhead State with a uh, three-point lead. But, Chuckster, it is early as you uh, take a look at the Illini and, and Moorhead State. Yeah, but I like the way uh, Moorhead came out. They're playing with tremendous confidence. A couple of those threes they made, you're like, those are only good shots because they go in. They're not afraid. But like I said, Illinois is playing as well as any team coming into this tournament. They're right up there with UConn, uh, who's playing great, Auburn, who's playing great, North Carolina, who's playing great. So I expect... Kenny to say <laughs> you expect no, Kenny to no, say something? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I'm really looking forward because, like I say, man, when in a, in a one and done scenario, we've already seen it earlier today with Duquesne. It ain't best of seven. It's best of one day, and anything can happen. Yeah, I wondered uh, too what the layoff would be like for Moorhead State. The last game they played was March 9th, almost two weeks mm -hmm. since they've played, but out of the gate well in this one. Second half is coming up, but now let's learn how to connect to the madness with coaches J.B. Smoove and Kayla at AT&T Connect U. Today we're going to talk about connecting to the shooting technique. The cookie jar. Try it. Release into the cookie jar. Into the cookie jar. Follow through. See that? Get that cookie. There we Grab go. that cookie. There Grab we go. Cookies all day. Oh, since we have a question. Uh, do you have to uh, eat the cookie every time? No, cookie is your reward. Okay. It's a metaphor. Make the shot, get a cookie. Woo! Connect to the madness. AT&T. It's such a pretty world today. Look at the sunshine. Look in the Hotels.com app to find your perfect somewhere. Every March, Jersey Mike's turns money from subs into charitable donations.
Back in Charlotte, and a reminder, Monday on CBS, grab your gear, join the NCIS team as they investigate an international crime with family ties. A new episode of NCIS Monday, 9, 8 Central. Wagner College, Staten Island, New York, the 16 seed, trying to hang in there with the beast from the ACC, North Carolina. Second half coming your way from Charlotte after this. This is the last call for your hands to grab the wheel of a current generation Charger or Challenger. Game audio. We'll be right back, guys. Stay tuned to Fourth Quarter Sports. Like and subscribe. Thank you. The U.S. Army. Be all you can be. And by Dove Beauty Bar. Moments away from half number two here in Charlotte. The 16th seed, the Wagner Seahawks. They trail by 12. Top seeded Carolina Tar Heels. Just a couple of hours uh, from their home gym. Are enjoying a big crowd here, Jim Jackson. North Carolina, certainly a size uh, discrepancy. The guys talked about that uh, during our AT&T at the half. And Armando Baycott just taking control here. You know, against a normal team, the size is an issue let alone a, a team that is smaller and only have seven scholarship players available to play. And you saw it in the first half. Is that the game plan by Hubert Davis and the coaching staff is what? Dominate the paint. Whether that's two feet in the paint off the dribble or post-ups, offensive rebounds, they didn't abandon it. And I love the maturity in which North Carolina played in that first half because when you're able to dominate like that, the tendency is, is to kind of chuck up some shots. They didn't do that, hence. You walk into halftime with a 12-point lead. That was thrilling drives presented by Nissan. Now we turn it over to Allie LaForce. You had a chance to hear from Donald Copeland. That's right. He said the big focus was, I need North Carolina to shoot more threes, force them to take their attempts from deep. They only attempted seven total threes in the first half. He said, I thought we did a great job getting back in transition. He was also very happy with offensively the looks they were getting. The fact that they haven't turned the ball over a lot, he would like them to get to the free throw line more, but his main focus was forcing UNC to shoot more from deep. Yeah, that's a good call, Allie. Thank you. Just one turnover for Wagner. You see the Tar Heels, 46-1 and one with a double-digit lead going into the second half. They force the turnover right away on the run. 
And now they get it set. R.J. Davis trying to get his shot going. Didn't need him much in that first half. Baycock cannot run it down. And a couple of empty sets. First possession for each team coming out of the halftime locker room. And I want to say this, and this is no slight at Wagner. Seventh in the country in Division One and holding opponents to 62.3 points. That's an NEC. That sometimes doesn't translate to that same number when you're facing a North Carolina. So you can lean into that. That's your calling card. But sometimes against an opponent that's far more superior in size and depth, that number is not the same. It doesn't equate the same. Yeah, good point. L.A. Cadeau with an offensive foul. So Carolina turns it over. The freshman point guard Cadeau, New Jersey native. Quiet afternoon for him thus far. Baycott with 14 points, 12 rebounds. Already a double-double. Jalen Withers having one of his best games of the year. Just the fourth time all year he's been in double figures. Charlotte native coming off the bench with 10 and five boards. Deontay Lewis backing down Baycott. Lewis, little jump hook is good. Got himself in foul trouble in that first half with three quick ones. They're going to need him to play smart if they're going to have a chance at all. Wagner within 10. R.J. Davis trying to get by Ascara. Nice little floater, but can't get it to go. And there's Lewis with a rebound. Yeah, a little crowded space that time. And Davis ripped it through. And look at the speed in which Council was able to get down the court. And that's what I said in the first half is that if you can get stops, enough stops, and get out and run, now those big bodies are not camped into the lane. And you can find yourself with either an open jump shot or... Like you saw Melvin, Melvin Council Jr. do right there, able to attack off the dribble and get to the free throw line. Cormac Ryan picks up the foul, is going to send Council to the free throw line. 21 against Howard in the first four on Tuesday. Only made one three-pointer in that game, and he missed all three of his free throws in that game. Not a great free throw shooter. He has... Then the only Wagner Seahawk to take free throws in this game, and he's four for eight now. That, the, the shots were short, no air underneath them. Cormac Ryan, pure stroke. You missed two. The game plan is to make North Carolina make threes, and they make one in transition. So kind of a five-point swing right there in favor of Carolina. Three made threes for the Tar Heels. Cormac Ryan has two of them. Just on the way here at half number two. That was the hot hand in the first half. Julian Brown goes off the glass with a little mid-range jump shot. We'll see he did that on purpose. Heels by 11 now. Inside, Baycott got position. Baycott missed it. Another chance here for Carolina. Cormac Ryan setting up Baycott again. There's contact, and that's going to be number four on Keontae Lewis. Beg your pardon, his third. And Lewis with the body contact on Baycott. But what a, what a heads-up play by Cormac Ryan. And, and I say that because instead of settling for a jump shot, Baycott tipped it out. He went right back to him in the post. And as a result, you're able to pick up another foul on Keontae Lewis. Well, Donald Copeland trying to avoid foul trouble. Going to be tough to avoid against a team like North Carolina. Three with three fouls. And Allen and Zongo and Lewis are the front court players. It has been a wild ride here for Wagner after winning the first four games. Didn't arrive until 3 a.m. And we're back at it film session at 11 a.m. yesterday and then out here for the workout they went hard in practice too now they don't go full contact no. but they go hard yeah they stopped going full contact once the bodies began short so you lose a little something when you have practice time but that's the cards that they were dealt with a beautiful pass that time a beautiful oh, defense wow. council from behind with a block and it's last touch by baycott that's going to be wagner ball what a play by Melvin Council. But just on, on cue. 
Donald Copeland and his team, they don't give up. Council could have easily laid back, but he went right after this and took this away from Cano, who thought that was easy money in transition. What an image. Council with purpose. Now he's driving, lost the handle. Into the hands of Harrison Ingram. 13-point Carolina lead. Ingram backing down a much smaller player. And now Ryan gives it up. Baycott with Lewis on with those three fouls. The double comes. Baycott leads it for Davis. Oh, wow, what a finish. R.J. Davis somehow got it off the window. Tough finish that time, but excellent read and react from the defense in Davis. Able to pick his poison right there. Open shot or drive off the catch. Took the easier one, made a tough shot inside. Just seven points for Davis. He led the ACC in points per game this year. He was 11th nationally. That's a block by Davis, but a foul. Got him on the wrist. R.J. Davis commits the foul on the... Julian Brown jumper free throws for Brown when we continue from Charlotte Times may change but some things remain timeless I've been Audio coming right back. Stay tuned. Fourth Quarter Sports. Like and subscribe. As we take a look from our AT&T connected cam, Armando Baycott. Yeah, with well, the grad senior, I mean, he's seen every kind of defensive matchup in the world. So very patient and comfortable, more importantly. With that, able to drop that dime to R.J. Davis. And when you have that kind of combination, you read off of each other and communicate without speaking. That time, body language said, get your butt to the paint. I'm going to drop it to you. You got to get two. Free throws for Julian Brown. So he's the first Wagner Seahawk other than Council to be at the line here. Brown, excellent three-point shooter, can be an X-factor. Played all 40 minutes on Tuesday night and made those two clutch free throws late in the game that put him up three. Knocks them both down here. You got to figure for Donald Copeland, this, this little five-minute window right now 
is the game for them. They're down 13. They get a couple of free throws. Trying to tighten up the anxiety screws on the top seed. Seth Tremble on the floor, coming off the Carolina bench. Here's Davis. He pulls a long three. Comes up short. Lewis flying high for the rebound. Here comes Wagner. Pretty good. Positive defensive possession and in transition. That's a little Euro from Melvin Council. Boy, he is nice. He has got some serious salt in his bag as Cormac Ryan comes right back to lay it in and a foul. And Ryan is headed to the line. Remember Jay Nivey that played at yes. Purdue? Counter. A little bit of that in his game right here. Look at this. Able to get it down quickly before, but then you give it back up. Really, you see Wagner give it up, and then that time Keontae Lewis is forced now to the bench with his fourth foul. And, and those are fouls that you would rather him use on Armando Baycott or a sure. postman down low. Not in that situation because of the transition defense just wasn't intact that time. So a good answer by Carolina. Cormac Ryan with the traditional three-point play. He's had two threes as well in the game. He's got 11. Mascara running a set Zongo now. Looking around the perimeter. Now counter goes to work. Rises up. Can't hit it. Baycott the rebound. Baycott collects his 14th rebound. 16 points, 14 boards for Armando Baycott. Ball movement here inside. Baycott resets. Turnaround is good. Got him deep. And Armando Baycott with a left hand. The offensive discipline not to just take the first available but take the best shot by North Carolina you know when you have a size of a lead at times sometimes you'll try some things some players will go off script but we haven't seen that yet so outstanding offensive discipline by the Tar Heels here's a scare trying to leave it up top well, it was all set up for sex on he was not expecting a pass Empty set, Davis drives, Davis a great finisher, and scores another one. Donald Copeland, sensing a moment here, needs a timeout. It's a 7-0 Carolina run. A top player in the ACC doesn't have to force his offense, especially when you get easy ones in transition like that. Another commercial, guys. Like, subscribe. Tire Heels 54. Wagner Seahawks 36. Round one here of the NCAA tournament. Let's go.
Finally here, it signals the return to Augusta National, a tradition unlike any other. The Masters this April on CBS, streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Jim Nance leading the coverage. Jim Nance not a part of March Madness this year. First time in a long, long time. Ian Eagle taking over the top seat. He'll be on the air from Brooklyn tomorrow with Grant Hill, Bill Rafferty, Tracy Wolfson. He'll be right here on CBS. You can see one of the three one seeds in action tomorrow on CBS, UConn, setting up shop in Brooklyn this week. Wagner with the ball here. Three-pointer flies for Brown. He's got it. Julian Brown coming out of that timeout. It's his third three-pointer. 15 for Julian Brown. Ball control for Carolina. Set Trimble back to Davis. scare has been on Davis. Here's Cormac Ryan now, and it's an air ball. Trimble's there for it, though. Another chance for the Heels. And now Davis, late clock. Down to two. Ryan's got to get one up here. Brown on him. Ryan does get it off. Can't score it. Rebound secured by Allen. Offensive rebound. Carolina not able to take advantage of it, but here in transition. Secondary break. Get an open shot. Three-pointer for Tajay Kelton. Got to be a thrill for Kelton and Council. Those two teammates at Monroe College now on the big stage. Of the NCAA tournament. Wagner hitting a couple of threes in the last two possessions to make this a 12 point Carolina lead. Cormac Ryan, he'll let it fly, comes up short. Offensive board, Withers. Withers has been a beast in round one today and puts one back. In the size matters, Withers that time, excellent footwork, got the bump. Air ball from Kelton, little push shot, comes up short. Threading the needle, Baycott, wow. the catch, can't finish. Look who's there, Jalen Winters. How about that pass from Davis and Baycott able? You like this, scooped it up almost like a third baseman. Maybe, or Pick it, short hop. Short hop, there you go. Pick it, Wilson. <laughs> that was a good catch by Baycott. It was. Turned it into points on after the miss. Withers able to, all the tension was on Baycott, so that window was open for him to tip it back in. Brown. Looking for some space, a foul on the floor. Withers got him. Timeout. Carolina up 58 42. 15 second chance points just dominating the glass. Commercial break, be right back. 11.28 left to go. Second half, 58-42, UNC. Like and subscribe. Thank you. 
Caleb Love had a double-double after transferring away from North Carolina a year ago. Back to Seahawks Tar Heels, B.A. Jim and Allie. Yeah, Jamie, you could uh, see a matchup down the road mm. in the West Regional. Mm. Caleb Love, R.J. Davis, Arizona UNC. What happened? Coming out of that timeout, Wagner getting a corner three-pointer. So the three-point shooting has kept them hanging around here. Only down 13. Brown has 18 points now. His fourth made three. Ingram showed three. Back in the hands of the point guard. Deflection by Brown. Davis now drives. R.J. Davis hangs, is fouled. And R.J. Davis will go to the line for a pair. And great attack that time. And I'll tell you what, another outstanding out-of-bounds, out-of-timeout play by yeah. Donald Colton. Drawn up. Now listen, you may not make the shot, but do you get the shot that you want and not what the defense dictates? And that has to be four or five times that they've gotten an outstanding look and been able to convert coming off of a timeout. Just 40 years of age, Donald Copeland. Second year. Take it over for Bashir Mason. And you can tell the skill of a coach on those out-of-bounds plays. He's drawn up a few in this one. Hey, CBS Tuesday is FBI night. FBI, FBI International, FBI Most Wanted. New episodes Tuesday starting at 8, 7 Central. All new, all spring on CBS, streaming on Paramount Plus as well. R.J. Davis with a couple of free throws. Jalen Washington will enter for Carolina. Baycott will sit. 18 points, 14 rebounds for Armando Baycott. It's a 15-point Carolina lead. Carolina, 11 offensive rebounds, 15 second chance points, and 36 of the 60 points that North Carolina has have come via the paint. Brown turning the corner, two-man game here, and a foul, Zongo! Strong roll to the rim, Zongo a chance at a three-point play. But pace is what got this play an opportunity to work. You come off the screen hard, you roll hard. Now the defense is shifting. That little pocket pass was available, and Zonga able to, despite that thin frame, complete that three-point play. And, you know, they just, Wagner, you, you think they're out of it, then they make a little bit of a push, get this thing back to 12. Tough team here. Sexongo, the freshman, on the shorthanded roster and with Taryn Allen with four fouls right now. He's going to have to play some big minutes. Back, and back in that zone, R.J. Davis rattles in a three-pointer. Now, you know, the skip pass is always going to leave you susceptible to an open shot. And unfortunately, that open shot lands in the hands of a 41% three-point shooter with R.J. Davis. Not who you want to take that shot. Davis is two out of five. Right on that 40% number today. Two out of five from three-point range. Council. He turns. Council looking for Zongo. Zongo can't finish it. Ingram flying high for the rebound. Cadeau gives it up. Ingram will pull a three. And he hits it. Harrison Ingram, 37% three-point shooter this year. Transferred from Stanford now in his junior year. Big time rebounder. Top 10 of the nation in total rebounds. Here goes Council. He drives and lays it in. Beat him off the dribble. Quick move. Up ahead. Withers running the floor. Knocked out of his hands by Council. What an incredible sequence on both ends by Melvin Council. Well, watch the last two plays here. Ball movement, the skip pass, two on one on the weak side, money, and then here, body blow, body blow, body blow. You know what I mean? Paint touch, paint touch, paint touch. Guess what? The trailer is wide open. So we'll knock that in in the transition offense. Out of bounds, and it is Davis. So Hubert Davis draws one up. R.J. Davis lays it in. 11 and a half for R.J. Davis. After a quiet first half, just five points in the first half. He's got 16 overall, and another turnover. Davis with a steal, up ahead, Cadeau, ah! up top, 
And down it goes, Jalen Withers. A highlight for the heels. You'll be seeing that one the rest of the night, a 10-2 run. Jalen Withers now with 16 points as Brown is fouled by Ryan. And let's give you another look. It's something you practice on all the time. Fast break, three on one, make the correct decision and play. And that time, Cadeau able to throw it right up to Jalen Withers. Showing that athleticism, but how quickly Carolina can respond to a run. Their own 10 to 2, like you said. Spurred by their defense. Got a chance at a double-double here, Jalen Withers. Having his best game of the year for Carolina. Here is Council. Missed it. Zongo fighting hard for the rebound. And then lost the handle. Shot clock didn't reset. It certainly hit the rim. So we'll take the timeout. Under eight. Reset the clock here. Donald Copeland grinding to try to find a way his team down 20 though Thank you, Nathan, for hitting subscribe. Welcome to the channel. And chipping in with 14 rebounds as well. From very one-sided thus far. To be expected, Jim. Yeah, but you stick to the script. And that's that's why game plans vary from game to game, depending on who your opponent is. North Carolina wins this game. Their next opponent, Michigan State, it may be something a little bit different. They still want to dominate the paint. But the huge advantage is right here. So why go away from it when it's working? They did reset the shot clock to 15. It did make contact with the rim. So a possession here for Wagner. Kelton gives it right back. And Council drills a three-pointer. I like him. Yeah, so I impressed like him, bro. with what bro, he's done. I, I like him. His attack. His body, the way he's built, his athleticism, not afraid to dirty it up a little bit, meaning 
get two feet in the paint, athletic. First team all in AC performer. Been in a shooting slump before his game in Davis as RJ Davis, pure stroke right there. Davis having a big second half for the Tar Heels. Well, it's because the, the shots that not only Davis is getting from the perimeter, they're contested, but not to the full extent because of the, the paint presence. So now you're able to get some cleaner, more efficient looks from beyond the arc, knowing that Wagner is more willing to kind of give those up. Ends up in the hands of Council, dumps it down to Lewis. Guarded by Baton, he'll pull that jumper and knocks it down. He's got a nice little stroke. Keontae Lewis out of Chesterfield, Virginia. Just a sophomore. Deflection. This Kara got another hand on that. Remember, he had three steals early. Council saves it. Oh, and it's going to be a backcourt violation. Yeah, yeah. Unforced error by Wagner. Wagner had to win three road games in the NEC tournament. It's not a neutral site tournament. They beat Merrimack in the NEC tournament championship game. Their first NEC tournament title since 2003. First time any NEC school had won three straight road games to win the tournament and earn the AQ. Baycott missed it. Withers keeps it alive into the hands of Council. They push it. Council, speed dribble. Finding Brown. That was blocked by Ryan. Withers up ahead. Ingram runs it down. Ingram scores. In transition, the heels back up 20. I'm guessing Jalen Withers getting a shot of confidence here. Playing in the NCAA tournament in his hometown here in Charlotte. Went to North Mecklenburg High School. He's had a great game. 16 points, 8 boards for Jalen Withers. You can get that kind of production from Withers. You know, in their next game, it makes it extremely difficult for Michigan State. He got it up, but I don't think in time. I got oh, the foul. Yeah, I got a foul here. Oh. Vern Harris got the foul right as the clock was expiring and saying that the foul came prior to the shot clock expiring and he's saying right right there that is a foul so he got it on his left hand but did the clock expire before the ball is out so the foul occurred before yeah so good call by the official you know the Carolina fans don't like it but it was a correct call and Baycott really didn't have to reach down as much could have kept those arms straight up and down. Keontae Lewis. This is the first free throw. Been a rough go at the line for Wagner. Hey, watch CBS Sports HQ. Free 24-7 coverage of the big dance and all the biggest moments in sports. Catch tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, and much more. Download the CBS Sports app to watch today. One out of two for big Keontae Lewis. Gives him 13 points, four rebounds. Been in foul trouble. He's playing with four fouls currently. Approaching the five-minute mark. Carolina trying to put away the 16 seed. Wagner showing the well in this NCAA tournament. In and out, Bacon, another rebound. Sets up Ryan, extra pass. Davis using clock here. Just smart, and that's not a player who is hunting for shots. You know, just patient, like I don't need to get it right now. He's playing the game. He's playing the game. Council knows he's got to go quick. Withers ends up on him. Uh, Council gives it up. Javier Escara. Four and a half to go. Time, right? Council's <laughs> taking his <laughs> time. <laughs> in and out it goes. I heard he knew when he bent down, he was going in attack mode. He said, I gave it up to you once. Yeah, beautiful. What a pass. Cormac Ryan on the receiving end from R.J. Davis. Good look inside. Carolina. Poised for a matchup with Michigan State. Michigan State as a nine seed took down Mississippi State, the eight seed, in the first game. And shot it extremely well from beyond three. You know, Mississippi State came into that game limiting teams to about 29%. RJ Davis with the finishing touches here. 
huge second half. He's got 22 now. 17 of those coming in half number two. Davis buries his fourth three-pointer. Boy, it's set up for a great matchup, though. Blue Bloods in college basketball, Carolina and Michigan State. The defensive-minded Spartans. Tom Izzo, always brilliant this time of year as Baycott puts two more in. All those matchups with Roy Williams, and now it's going to be Hubert Davis and Tom Izzo. And we are set up for a dandy on Saturday for the right to go to Los Angeles in the Sweet 16. UNC, the top seed. They are rolling now with three and change remaining in round one. Thank you, Justin Robles, for hitting subscribe. Welcome to Fourth Quarter Sports.
Wednesday night, the NEC tournament champs. Their former coach, Bashir Mason, he'll have St. Peter's matching up against Tennessee. I know Donald Copeland is disappointed, but he is proving quickly that he is going to be a formidable head coach at the collegiate level. He's in his second year. Talented point guard at Seton Hall. He was an assistant under Kevin Willard at Seton Hall. He is Jersey through and through. And you know he's got a bright future ahead of him as well. Yeah, well, you know, the, the fight was there, but then sometimes the realization that you run out of talent sometimes sets in, and that's what happened with Wagner. But the fight was there all afternoon, and, and that's what you look at and you judge your team on. Yeah, we were outmanned, outsized, but the heart and the effort was still there all the way down to the buzzer. Even though North Carolina is making these shots, you never saw these young men from Wagner hang their heads. They continue to compete, and that's a reflection, uh, you know, on their parents, but also this coaching staff. Wojcik reigns in that three-pointer. He came in that first half for defensive purposes. Great Lebo on the floor as well, trying to guard Council, and Zayden high, up high for the block. Freshman out of Rockwell, Texas. Dwayne Ferris, or Dewey Ferris, I should say, will enter. And the end of the line for Wojcik and Jalen Washington. Rob Landry getting a minute to play in the NCAA tournament as well. These guys put in the hard work. Scout team put in the grind, getting minutes here in March Madness. Get the cameras out. Three-pointer finally goes down for Javier Esquera. He's been impressive to watch as well. The point guard from Puerto Rico. You see that documentary we put out, Bleacher Report, the point gods of Puerto Rico, J.J. Barea, Carlos Arroyo. Got one on the board. Rob Landry scores it, much to the delight of the Carolina bench. And Esquera obviously looking up to to those guys, Jose Alvarado and J.J. Barea and Carlos Arroyo. Great moment for him from Puerto Rico to be yeah. in the NCAA tournament as well. Michigan State and North Carolina set for a second round matchup as Council is fouled on his way in. Well, this is going to be some battle Saturday. Hubert Davis and Tom Izzo very much looking forward to this one, Jimmy. You know, it's the same thing the size of North Carolina inside protecting the paint the, the transition offense for Tom Izzo can they get those easier baskets in their secondary breaks against this North Carolina team and protect the paint you know that's the and, and you're able to do that when you're able to knock in shots from the perimeter I think you'll see a lot more aggressive RJ Davis from the beginning yeah. because of the guard matchups from Michigan State but man you're talking about a big time matchup on Saturday can't wait I'm glad I'm here with you partner to call that one it's gonna be something special Hubert Davis the ACC coach of the year takes out the 16 seed Wagner Seahawks Armando Baycott with a monster game 20 points 15 rebounds his sixth consecutive NCAA tournament game with 15 boards. Jalen Withers was outstanding as well in his hometown. So the stage is all set. Blue Bloods in college basketball from Charlotte, North Carolina. It is going to be a pro Carolina Tar Heel crowd. They sold out this one. You know it'll be a sellout on Saturday. The top seed Tar Heels take it on Michigan State, who took out Mississippi State earlier today let's send it over to and right away i want to see what they're going to run for black shoe this this team right here they're able to play with a really really big point guard black here at 6-6 is a matchup 25. you don't see many point guards that big right nope 